Hey guys, let's talk about the Jonas Brothers. Got a minute? The Jonas Brothers are a popular pop music group. Uh, three brothers that are in the same group together. They started back many years ago, and the only thing I could have told you about them at the time was that young girls liked them and that they had purity rings. And I thought that this was kind of cool because even though they were out in the world and they were singing um, different kind of songs, that they they were proud of the purity rings. They were not, uh, not shying away from them during the middle of interviews or anything like that. Fast forward to me listening to the radio the other day and I hear something about the Jonas Brothers. So they're back making music. They have a few hits out on the radio right now. And there was a documentary that kind of walked through their faith. And one of the things that happened as they grew was the church that their dad was a pastor of and where they started playing music to very start their career uh, kind of turned their back on them. Now, I don't know the whole story behind everything, but I can tell you this. There's a point in the documentary where they go to the church grounds and they talk about how everything that in their life growing up as a PK and you know being a part of this church was all centered around church and that this was like a second home if not a first home for them and in the documentary they weren't even allowed to step on the church grounds because they'd been kicked out and you could see the hurt that they still had because of the things that happened uh, in the breakup between them and the church fast forward to an interview that they've done uh, recently and they were asked about their faith and one of the Jonas brothers basically said well they like to think that they're praying to something or somebody out there whenever they are praying just to, that something can hear their prayers. And that just breaks my heart. Because if there's one thing the church does not do well, it's deal with heartache. See, I like to think about things from different perspectives, and I'm sure that the church was justified in many ways of some of the things that they did. And I'm sure that from the perspective of the Jonas Brothers and their dad, that they were doing the right thing as, as well. And so this whole thing was about one person getting hurt or one, you know, one group of people getting hurt and then taking it out back and forth with each other. And this is so common in the church. In fact, I would dare say that the majority of people that are not in the church, at least in America, is because of some sort of church hurt. They've had experiences with the church and it didn't go well. And I think the church hurts them back because they're hurt. And not knowing what to do, let's look at see what Paul says. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Maintaining the unity of the Spirit in the body of peace. That's what this is all about. So as a Christian and as a part of the church and, and in the church, we have to be able to understand that the way that we feel about something can affect the way that we see it. And it's our job to bring about and to try to establish the unity in the Spirit through the body of peace. And if we can't bring peace to these situations, then we miss the point. Now, I'm not saying that every single situation can uh, end with people being happy and wonderful and we can all you know, lock arms and sing Kumbaya, but think about how many people are hurt by the church and does that number seem right to you? And this isn't to dog the church, but this is for us to think about the way that we do things and try to fix it. So how can we, how can you, bring about peace to situations whenever they're going out of control? Are we focused so much on our own feelings and our own hurt that we can't see that we have a bigger calling here? So look for those that are on the outskirts of your church, the ones that might be in the, the pathway of getting hurt, and reach out to them. Try to make peace with them. Try to share the love of God to them. And if you're one that's been hurt by the church or you're being hurt by your church right now, I just pray that you just um, find a peace like go to God and say, God, I, I know that you see everything. I know that you see the situation I'm going through. Help me find peace in it. Thanks for taking a minute.